Hi everybody, it's Agnes and welcome to another meaningful work interview. And this one's very special because Chris, who is here, hello Chris. Hello everybody. Chris, where are you in the world so they know where the Google pin is? <laughs> I am in Las Vegas, Nevada, the city of entertainment. Cool, good stuff. Well, the, the, I'm going to tell the viewers a little bit about how we connected. There is someone sure. that I was coaching who somehow connected with you because they, she was using your app, which is the I am that I am app. And we're going to talk a lot about that today. Um, and she put you and I in touch. And I have been recommending your app which is an affirmations app to my viewers for a long time and been using it myself. So it was so exciting that this person was kind of the golden link in the chain for you and I to connect. So I'm really excited to talk to you about where, like how did you start this journey of wanting to do this and then actually putting it into practice and then creating, well, this is meaningful work for you. It's part of yeah, this, this application is literally a part of who I am naturally. Um, yeah. I've always had a strong mindset growing up. And, you know, obviously we all go through life. We have obstacles in our life. And the idea is, you know, when you fall down is what do you tell yourself to get back up, right? So you have to constantly flood your mind with some positivity to get yourself over these obstacles. Well, I had a point in my life in 2010 where my life felt a little low, you know, I was low in money, my health was a little low, and I would always try to tell myself that everything's gonna be okay, I am well, I am strong. I came across Bob Proctor. Do you know who Bob Proctor is? He's from The Secret, right? Yeah. And he talked about like, you know, if you just change your thoughts by just one degree every single day, and if you do that consistently, that you'll be in a completely new location. By just changing your thoughts from negativity to positivity, and I listened to him as well as, you know, Eckhart Tolle, Tony Robbins. And I had this audio tape that I remember listening to on a regular basis during that time where I would have, um, you know, um, I would have Bob Proctor talking on the right ear and I would have this other gentleman named Paul Schilly in the left ear. And they would be hitting me with uh, flooding my mind with their affirmations. And it was in their voice saying, you are strong. You are well. And I was like, wow, this is, this is amazing stuff here. And I, my life started, started transforming. And I was thinking, you know, what if I can change it out where I can have my own voice and I'm telling myself that I'm okay. Yeah. And what I ended up doing, I, um, I started recording my voice on my computer and I compiled, I, I do a lot of video and music editing as well. And I started compiling my own affirmations on my computer and I turned it into an MP3 file and I put it on my iPod and I was like, you know what? I got my affirmations. What if I added some binaural beats? So I added binaural beats to it. And then I'm like, what if I added some music to it? I added some music to it. And it was a manual process. I was like, man, this is work and it's designed specifically for me. What if I can create an app where I can just record it? add my music of my choice and select the binaural beats and I can just play it over and over and over again. So I got into the practice of, you know, drawing it out on Photoshop. I create out all the layouts and, and, and I studied app development. I had a team overseas help me develop like the engine of it. And then I started learning how to code my own app project where I created my own features and it started growing and growing and growing. And now I'm at a point where, you know, I, I've reached my goal of having over 10,000 downloads and, 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 I, and I got that goal and it's, it's still evolving. It's an evolving process. So again, this application allows you to basically record your affirmations where it plays in your left ear and also plays in your right ear and it consistently loops. Okay. And you can add your own binaural beats and your own background music to help create a feeling in your body. You want to be able to create a feeling in your body and to be able to visualize what is it that you're trying to achieve. So anyways, I did that and I, I've noticed that my life started shifting in the, the direction of, 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 of my desires, of what I wanted to do at that time. And I managed to get out of my little negative world into a world of positivity and attracting the right people into my life. 
and you're in, you know, it's like meeting you is a yeah. blessing. The right people just happen to show up yeah. in your life. Yeah. I look, I just think it's so interesting that you started this off just for you. Mm -hmm. And then you went on to study, like it kind of just dragged you along the desire to do this for yourself. It kind of has created you going to study how to make apps. I mean, that whole thing alone would have been mine. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like go to high school one day and say, you know, I can't wait to become an app developer. <laughs> you know, like I want to, I want to be an app developer one day and study, study code. It just kind of happened naturally. So like, well, what I was saying to you earlier, like sometimes your problems ends up being a, a blessing in disguise. And yep. that if you just have just a little bit of faith and you put faith behind it, like everything will be okay. It's kind of, it's kind of like push. It's like the universe is forcing you to go in another direction and it might be a little painful, but if you just stay with, stick with it and have a little bit of faith, it's, it's, it's designed to help you grow through this process and help shift you into something bigger and greater and more grand for your life. And yeah, so that's like my background and on, on how I created this application. Um, and again, it's still evolving. I have a lot of more ideas that I want to put into the app. It's just it's time, it's time consuming and, and it's funding. You know, I got to get proper funding. I can imagine. Can you, like before we started recording, can you show the categories and how when you design, like when you use it for you? Sure. Uh, like what you said to me about when you use it at night, I, that was really interesting. Yeah, um, I like to use my application at nighttime and first thing in the morning, but especially at night because, you know, as you go to sleep, you're marinating. You're marinating <laughs> all the thoughts that you have, and it's going into your, from your conscious mind into your subconscious mind. So by the next day, you are basically, you know, your, your, your day is going to unfold in the way that you want it to. So it's really good to, to put your mindset in the right mindset prior to going to sleep. And what I have been doing is that I listen to my affirmations where my volume, my, my, I, I record my voice in a, um, almost like in a whisper, like as if I'm a therapist and I'm like saying, you know, I am strong. I am great. You know, you, you got to say these affirmations in a nice soft tone because you're going to sleep at night. Yep. And you don't, you don't want to say like, you know, I'm going to make $10,000 and you're yelling and screaming, you know, maybe say it, I say it nice and soft. Yeah. And then I put a delay, I put about a medium delay. So I'm not having an affirmation one after the other right away. There's a, there's a nice delay in between your affirmations. So it soaks right into your subconscious mind. And then I have a, my binaural beats that I choose for my frequency is the sleep frequency. Because when you lay down at night, your brain is still active from the day that yeah. you want to step your brain from beta all the way down to the alpha, down to the delta. And the delta is where you really, really, you know, get to that deep state of mind where your mind is more susceptible to accepting these messages. So yeah. the binaural beat I choose is the sleep frequency. And I set it for about 30 minutes and the affirmations on a medium delay. And then I choose music from youtube um there's there's some relaxation sounds that i like to use it's a relaxation background music and it allows me to go to sleep at night with this nice calming feeling where i'm programming my mind with the messages that i want to have programmed into my subconscious yeah. um yeah. so that's what i do during during the night time and then in the morning when i wake up i listen to this epic music from youtube it just wakes me up makes me feel like that i'm a star of my own movie and I have my, my goals for the day affirmations. Um, on the I am that I am, uh, can you see my screen, right? Yeah? Yeah, I can see it. So these are my affirmations. I have easy fasting because I did this four-day bone broth fasting, and I really wanted to make it an easy process. Yeah. So I just, you know, I've, I put a lot of positive affirmations about my fasting and I lost seven pounds, by the way, in four days. So if, if you want to lose weight, just bone broth for four days. Don't eat anything. I promise you, you'll have enough nutrients from the bone broth. Um, I have my goals. I have some mantras. Yeah. And I have some om. I have an om and ah meditation where you say your om and ah. 
So whenever you want to record your own affirmations, you go ahead and tap on the top right hand corner. There's a microphone there. Yep. And when you do that, you have mantra, you have money, career, love, you have health, family, fitness, and custom. Yep. And, and if, if you record just a mantra, a mantra is just one affirmation. So if you have a, a, a positive statement you want to say to yourself, and it's just one statement, one affirmation, you want to tap that and you want to record it. If you have a particular area of your life that you want to improve and you want to change your mindset about it, whether it's money, career, and you don't know what to say, well, this, these categories have pre-selected affirmations in there. So like money, for an example, if you tap that, will have six pre-selected affirmations. And this affirmation is, I am attracting more money into my life. So if you tap on the record button, you can say, I am attracting more money into my life. Hit stop. More money into my life. Okay, that's one affirmation. Then you hit accept, and then you have five more to go. So you record throughout your entire um, recording session. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and again, you have money, career, love, fitness, and custom. Custom is really good if you have your own customized affirmations and you have at least six affirmations. I say keep your affirmations nice and short. Keep them nice and sweet. Um, and if you have at least six of them, select the custom, and that will allow you to record your affirmations um, and right in there it says I am and you can hit record and okay. you can see your affirmation. And here's another thing. Um, if you don't know what to say and you do want to have your own customized affirmation, well, I have an affirmation library right here. Yeah. And if you go to the library, you can tap on select category and you do have different categories here. Yeah. Um, like let's say weight loss and they just got all these affirmations that you can select from and you tap on that and it puts the affirmation right here. And then this one says, I choose to breathe in relaxation and breathe out stress. So that's another affirmation. Love so one. really quick, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick affirmation so you can see what happens that after you record, it takes you to a play page where you can play back the affirmation and add your music and frequency. Okay. Yeah. I am strong. I am well. I am having this vibrant energy that travels through my entire being. I am strong. I am well. I am having this vibrant energy that travels through my entire being. That's, that's an affirmation. I hit accept. Yep. I go ahead and hit the play screen. Um, here's a quote. I, I put in like 10 quotes in here, um, like by Albert Einstein, Eckhart Tolle, Wayne Dyer. And then you hit done. And then this takes you to the play page where you can play your affirmations, add your music, add your binaural beats, and, and add some visualization. So if there's something that you, know, you want to visualize, mm -hmm. like your goals, you can take a picture of your goals and put yeah. them in there. So as you're listening to your affirmations, you can really visualize what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and push the play button right here. Yeah. The play. I am strong. And I'm going to select my song. This is the song I want to select. So that's the music. That's the affirmations. And then you got binaural beats. So the idea is that you want the music to make you feel good. Because music, you know, it makes you feel good if you can find the song that resonates with you. And it also depends, let me go ahead and turn that off. It also depends on what your goals are. So find the goal, what you're trying to attract into your life, the law of attraction, right? You want to figure out what is it that you want to attract into your life and find a music track that resonates with that vision. So it makes you feel a certain way. And when you feel a certain way, You'll be surprised with, with your affirmations playing how the universe kind of conspires to help you to achieve that, that vision. The right people show up, the right circumstances show up, and it'll actually make you behave a certain way. If you do it enough, your actions are different. They're very subtle. You're making these subtle differences physically every day, 
that it's actually subconsciously it's like it's it's a, it's moving you towards that desired that desired mindset that whatever it is you want to attract. So again, the purpose of this app is to is to get rid of the negative thinking and start constantly choosing the thoughts that you want to have into your mind. Because again, we have a stream of thoughts that's constantly streaming through your mind. And, and you know, it's like 60 to 70 thoughts unconsciously that you can learn to meditate, slow your mind down, and then begin to choose the thoughts that you want to have that makes you feel good. Yeah. And then you program those thoughts in and then you'll be surprised. You do that every day. Like I said earlier, if you change your thoughts by just one degree, you'd be in a completely new location. And you're like, how in the heck did I get here? Well, you, you've been programming your mind. So that is technically the affirmation um, application. And it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful app. And I'm, I'm grateful that, you know, you're using it and your followers are using it. And it's, it's, I never thought that it would get to this point, but it's, I'm really blessed. And yeah. thank you. Um, can you read out the categories that you've got for people already programmed on there? Because they'll that'll be interesting for them in terms of what they're doing. Yeah. So the categories that um, are here are money, career, love, health, family, fitness, and custom. These are pre-selected affirmations there's six in each category yeah. six so there's yeah. six affirmations for health um there's six affirmations for love and they're already pre-written um it might not resonate with you in terms of what i've written so i think it's good that if you write your own in terms of health or you write your own in terms of love yeah. and you write them down resonate with it and then begin the recording process fabulous so, yeah. yeah. Can you explain the benefits of binaural beats when you put that behind affirmations? Thanks for that question. Yeah, the binaural beats are audio tones that have a certain frequency. So if I have 108 hertz frequency in my left ear and I have 100 hertz in the right ear, the difference is 8 hertz. So it's 108, 100, the difference is 8 hertz. And 8 hertz is a binaural beat of alpha and alpha is what your brain is going to try to synchronize with so when you have the binaural beats playing in the background your brain is going to try to synchronize with the binaural beats which that process induces relaxation so you want to be able to have this induced relaxation while you're listening to your affirmations because when your brain is in the alpha mindset your brain is more susceptible to accepting these messages as truth. So when you can really calm your brain down, it opens your mind up to accept these affirmations into you and program it into your subconscious mind. So when you listen to the binaural beats, I suggest having the binaural beats playing enough where you can hear it, but low to, to the, where, where, where it's low enough where you can hear, but it's not too loud where it's, it's over, it's, um, it, it's louder than the music or just as loud as your affirmations. You wanna hear it, but you wanna, you wanna lower down the volume just a little bit where you can just barely hear the binaural beats. Okay. Um, the binaural beats are good depending on your mindset, right? So if you're exercising, or if you're uh, doing yoga, or anything like that, um, I suggest doing like um, beta, beta, Beta is a good frequency for waking your brain up, waking up your brain. If you're studying, I say, you know, use, use alpha. If you're studying, if you're about ready to go to sleep at night, use delta. If you just want to have that nice relaxation, if you use delta long enough, you will have vivid dreams. I'm not going to lie. I've had plenty of vivid dreams in delta. Uh, depending on what's in your brain, you might have a nightmare. I apologize. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully you got some positive thoughts in there. So when you go to sleep at night, you'll have these positive dreams at night. Yeah. Um, binaural beats are really good uh, when you mix it with music. If you want to just have a meditation experience, then I suggest doing binaural beats only. If you can just sit quietly and you've already put thoughts in your mind all day, try to take a deep breath, focus on your inner body, and listen to just the binaural beats alone. And anytime you have a thought in your mind, let go of the thought, drop it like hot potato, and just focus on the, the just hearing the sounds of the binaural beat. 
and just sit there and immerse yourself in that in that sound, it will take you to a place. I promise you, <laughs> it'll it'll take you to this nice meditative state of mind. That's um, brilliant, brilliant. Now, you and I talked a little bit about anxiety prior to this, and I know a lot of the viewers on the channel do suffer from anxiety. So do I, yeah. So what do you recommend for that? You know what? I've learned that worrying is, is powerful. Yeah. yeah. You're unconsciously worrying. It's like it's a program that's running that's saying, like, I got these problems, I got these issues, and I didn't realize how that, that like, I, I didn't think I was a person that worried. And I didn't, and I, I knew that your thoughts is physical and your feelings are physical. And when you're worrying, you're having these physical symptoms in your body. And that can cause the anxiety, that can cause physical stress. You get pressure in the back of your neck. All of your pain in your body tends to amplify when you're worrying about something that isn't existing in the present moment, right? There's sometimes yeah. you have these unconscious thoughts and it's causing a lot of physical problems. So for me to kind of get over my anxiety is that as soon as I recognize that I'm having a worried thought, is there's a trick that you have to do. You have to label it something else. Number one, try to relabel it, call it something different. You have to focus on your breath so you can, you can release, you can put separation between the thought and, and your present moment. You want to stay in the present moment as much as possible. And then, and then if you have to utilize the application to program your mind, to start thinking about what you desire, not, what you fear because if you don't use a tool like the app your unconscious thoughts will constantly talk about what is it that you don't want and what you don't want and that can cause anxiety that can bring up more fear into your life yeah. so yeah. i think the idea is to again call it something different relabel it and start saying messages affirmations and start visualizing what is it that you want and that can help you to so you know detach yourself from the anxiety and the stress that is there i mean it, it will be there you just got to learn how to detach yourself from it and no longer allow that to control you because anxiety is so powerful i've been mal buck i've been suffering from anxiety since 2013 and it just feels like i'm now finally getting a hold of it i'm now finally having control over my life and that no anxiety is no longer going to control me and that is, a, you got to have that feeling within you. Anxiety will no longer control you. You know, that you are responsible for everything that happens in your life. You're responsible. You got to learn to find a way to let go of those unconscious negative thoughts. Yeah. Because it's not going to serve you in any way, shape, or form. So, Chris, just what you're saying about labeling it something different, can you just break down the mechanics of that? What, give me an example. You know, if you say I am hurting or my back really hurts, um, that is something that's going to sabotage you, right? So if you're going to say things like, you know, oh, I, my back hurts or I don't know if I can do this. If you say that enough, your back's going to continue to hurt. So you have to relabel it by saying things like, you know, my back is fine. I will get over this. This is no problem. Or um, and, and basically calling it something else. Calling, even though it may not be true, but if you do it enough, yeah. it'll get that negative thought. Like an example, I had a, uh, a coworker years ago saying, hey, the boss said that you're not doing a good job. Yeah. And I remember playing with that thought all day long. Like the boss told me that I'm not doing a good job. I'm not doing a good job. And I was having these thoughts all day long and it was sabotaging what I was doing at work. So to get rid of that thought, I said, the boss said, I'm doing a great job. Yep. The boss said that I'm doing fantastic. The boss said that I'm the best employee he's ever had. <laughs> these things. Even though it may not be true, you say it anyways. Right. And what happens is your brain starts to let go of that negative thought. And then, and then it's gone. It's, it's no longer not gone because you replaced it with something else. You label it something else. And I think it's just a trick. Whether you think it's true or not, just you got to protect your mind from any negativity. 
And you do what you can to, if it means relabeling it and calling it something else. That kind of helps you shift out of that negative frame of reference. So linking affirmations, which are changing your thoughts. How do you think changing your thoughts with affirmations and say the app helps you change your beliefs? Well, you have to have new thoughts to create new feelings and these new feelings will create new behaviors in your body. So right now we again we have these unconscious thoughts that are creating these un- these these random feelings throughout the day and then you're getting these random actions throughout your day. So we have to become more aware of what we're thinking about and then we have to be more um we have to start putting into our thoughts into our mind, new thoughts of what we want, right? So if we do create thoughts of what we want and we're consciously aware of it, if you do that more and more and more, you'll become unconscious of your positive thoughts and you'll be more in the alignment of how you truly want to feel. And then your behavior is going to stem from that. So now you're actually shifting from what you don't desire to what you do desire by first changing your thoughts if you do that enough, you'll start feeling the way you want, and then you'll start behaving the way you truly want. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, have these, I have these things that are like the four categories. Have you heard? Um, you've heard of unconscious competence, right? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, no, not unconscious competence. Yes. Con- I, I have the four categories of change. You have unconscious negativity this is what i call it unconscious negativity you have conscious negativity you have conscious positivity and you have unconscious positivity the unconscious negativity is where you are just unconsciously negative about your life about your world you're just being negative to people and you're not aware of it you're just you know, you're yelling at your coworker or you're, you're mad at the dog for spilling something on the floor and your world is just, you got problems. That's unconscious negativity. The next phase of change is conscious negativity where you know you're being negative. You know you're having negative thoughts. You know that your life is not the way you want it and you know that and you're, maybe, maybe you've said something negative to somebody and you, you, you're awake to it, you realize that, wow, I'm being negative. That's a really good step for change because you're now you're starting to wake up, right? You're waking up. The next phase is conscious positivity. Now, this is where you're consciously choosing to be positive. You're consciously choosing to say the right words. That helps become more positive to the world. You're being more, you have a positive outlook on life. Um, things happen. It no longer affects you. You're more transparent to the negativity. You're consciously aware that you're being more positive to change your life. That's, that's a really good, and the application helps you do that, right? The I am that I am app helps you choose to be more positive. If you can do that enough, you'll, you'll now move to what's called unconscious positivity, where you are just unconsciously being positive. You're unconsciously projecting goodness to the world. You're, the words that are, that are coming out of your mouth is coming from this positive perspective. And you're just unconsciously. And I think if you stay there long enough, you will actually begin to start attracting your dreams and desires. Because when you're attracting, when you're in this positive area, your vibration is much higher. You have a higher vibration of energy. When someone walks in the room and they're a negative vibration, you can feel that. You can feel that they have this low negative vibration of energy and it doesn't feel good. If you can raise your vibration to a higher frequency, well, higher frequency allows you to to attract your dreams and desires because you feel good, it's a higher frequency. And what you dream and what you desire already in itself is a high frequency. So as you receive it, you feel good you feel good, your, your desires will make you feel good. So the idea is to, is to get yourself to the unconscious positivity as quickly as you can yeah. and yeah. to radiate that high vibration, positive feelings, because then it'll start attracting your dreams and desires into your life in a much faster, in, in my opinion, in a much faster way, as long as you can stay there. So that's, that's my perspective on Sorry, it's a really long explanation on thoughts. No, no, look, I just find it fascinating because 
I just think when people create something that's come out of some stuff in their own lives that wasn't yeah. really great, that they got a bit smashed by emotionally, mentally, physically, and then this amazing thing comes out of it and then it turns into part of their meaningful work. It's like you're marrying two parts of your, your life. You know, it's usually often people do this stuff for their personal life and then they go to work and they do this stuff and there's not a lot of crossover. Right, exactly. So hearing you talk about this, I just love it because it's, it just combines so many things. Your personal journey, you transformed, you made lemonade out of lemons, really. Yes, that's it, yeah. And now what you have created for you is now going out into the world as something that can really give people relief. Yeah, and it gives them hope and it lets them know that there are tools out there that can help them in whatever issues they're experiencing, that there are tools out there. Yeah. And what we all need to do is change our mindset. I mean, our mind is going to be with us everywhere we go. Our, our mind is going to be with us. And if we can fix our mind, yeah. everything else, I think, will fall into place. So agree with you. So agree with you. I think that's where the root of all the problems are is once, if you get this right, then mm -hmm. your emotions change. Then from your emotions and your feelings, the external results you get change because it's all a projection. Well, it's the law of projection. So, yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you, how did you, why did you name it the I am that I am app? Well, at first I wanted to name it my liminals, which is weird because the, the auditory, that I was listening to with Bob Proctor was called Paraliminals. It was Paraliminals, and I kept listening to my Paraliminals. And I'm like, what about my liminals? And I'm like, my liminal sounds weird. Yeah. You know, it sounds really weird. And as I'm saying these affirmations, I was using the word I am a lot in my affirmations. And I was like, I am strong. I am well. I am amazing. And I am, I am, I am is what I thought. And I came across, um, uh, some information on the internet about I am that, I am that, I am that, I am that, I am, I am that. Yeah. So I am that, I am just happened to be like, you know, that resonated with me with mm -hmm. I am that, I am. And, and you are that. If you say I am strong, well, you're strong. If you say I am weak, well, guess what? You're going to be weak. Yeah. You know, so it is very powerful. And, um, and Wayne Dyer is such a big advocate for... That. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I listen to his wishes fulfilled a lot. Um, yeah. I've read his books, and he's all about the I am that I am mindset, and that whatever you say after I am is who yeah. you will become and who you feel. Yeah. So, and he's got that brilliant piece of music, which is the I am meditation, which is about forty something minutes long with that yes. 10 second gap in the middle and it's called the Wayne Dyer I am meditation. And I mean, yes. I've, I've used that for years because you can overlay because it's music only. You can overlay any affirmations you want or any visuals. If you want to visualize over the top when you go to bed. Yeah. And, and that's the beauty with the application is that you can, you can basically add any other music track outside of the app. So you don't have to use the music in the app. Right. If you have other ma other sounds you want to listen to, yep. you know, go to go to Spotify, hop on YouTube, play music that you've downloaded on the internet, play Wayne Dyer's background music, yep. and correlate yep. that with your affirmations to help you change. I uh, I think I told you earlier um, I trained for American Ninja Warrior. Um, it's an obstacle course race on NBC, and it's it's uh, all about having physical upper body strength and mindset. Well, I use my app so much to get myself in the right mindset that I already saw myself winning the show. I saw myself on top of this. At the end of the, at the, end of the obstacle course, you have this ramp where yeah, you have yeah. to run up the ramp and grab the top of that ramp and you got to pull yourself up and hit this buzzer. And I've already visualized myself on top of that ramp and it's called the warp wall. And I, I immerse myself with affirmations. I listen to the right music to get me pumped to work out. I exercise. I trained. I meditated on it. I was in the hot tub listening to my affirmations with the binaural beats. And I made it as a rookie out of 125 athletes. I was top three. I was third place two times in a row. And I made it to the Las Vegas finals. 
and then NBC contacted me and 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 interviewed me in my home and I my son was on TV I'm on TV and I'm like what is going on my life is changing <laughs> and it was all because of the affirmations and what you believe in and you know sometimes in life you're you're going in one direction and you think life is good and you're in you tend to become complacent sometimes you know and when you become complacent that's where you got to be careful because your unconscious negative thoughts can come back and it can kick you off course. And if you kick off, get off course, you got to get yourself back on course. If you're off course for too long, you might crash. Right. And a lot of people have crashed and I actually crashed to be honest with you months ago, I've crashed physically. I had some health concerns and I got so complacent after Ninja warrior after the show ended, I got complacent and I thought, you know, I can eat whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. I'm okay. And then I started having these health issues and then I, I felt like I've crashed. So I had to re-immerse myself with affirmations. I had to take the right corrective actions. And now I'm actually at a point where I'm actually feeling alive with my health because of changing my mindset. So some, sometimes in life, guys, you fall down. You got to change your mindset, get back up. Yep. And then be resourceful and have the awareness to know that there are other things out there that can help you get back up off your feet yeah. and up and running again. Yeah. But it, like you say, it's easy to slide back to your old ways. You know, you like you, if you have that lesson in your own life where you've done it, you've done all the affirmations, you've done the, you know, meditation, you've done visualizing, et cetera, et cetera. And then you start to see some progress and then you sort of hit like a few great manifestations and you go, right, I'm going to have a break from that now. Yeah. And then Yeah. You take, you, you take the back seat. You're like, I'm okay. My life is good. I got no worries. I got no problems. Well, life, the universe says, well, if yeah. you're comfortable, I'm going to kick you out of your comfort zone yeah. just so I can get you to keep growing. Oh. Just to get you to grow. And let me kick you out of your comfort zone. There's unfortunately, well, there's no real days off from this. <laughs> no, there isn't really. You can have a day off, but if you have a day off, you got to keep this at peace. And if you don't, yeah. there are consequences. So, well, do you have your own ritual that you do in the morning, and and as well as at nighttime to kind of keep your mindset from yeah. um, being sabotaged by negativity yeah. around the world? What is it that you do at night that you know, like a nightly ritual? that you do to kind of submerge yourself with like positive affirmations and stuff? I do. I've got, I've got a morning and night routine. I don't get out of bed until I've done about 50 to an hour's worth of meditation involving affirmations. So wow. I, I kind of wake up, but I'm not a morning person. I like getting out of that's bed. An affirm that's an affirmation right there, right? I'm not, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> And I don't want to be. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. As long as you resonate with that, yeah, that's exactly. No, no, no. I love getting out of bed slowly. I love waking up, and then I just my phone's there. I just get, you know, I've got a few different things I use. I hit play. I put it down. I shut my eyes, and I repeat. And sometimes I literally just flood my body with good feelings. Like, you know, this is going to be a great day and I'm creative. Yeah. And then I do some gratitude and then I think, okay, now I can get up. Cause then I, I don't book anyone in before 10 AM. That's good. It's, it's, this is your personal time. This is yeah. your time. I don't want to look at emails. I don't want to see anything before um, 10. And then I often in the middle of the day, like before this with you, I thought, oh, I'm tired. I want to have a good interview with Chris. So I went to lay down and I just did like two meditations for about, you know, 50 minutes combined. And then tonight when I go to bed and I go to bed quite late, usually 11, 12, 1 a.m. because I'm just awake at that time. So yeah. do another usually 45 minutes to an hour of either silent meditation. I do follow a lot of Neville Goddard's practices. So just using the imagination to live in the end results of what I want. So I'll put on Wayne Dyer's music or I'll 
put on, well, I, sometimes I put on nothing. I just literally in the total science silence where I am in London at the moment, I've got a flat that's really quiet. Okay. So I just literally enjoy the silence and I just go in and I do my affirmations, but I probably on average, my, my main affirmation time, I go for a walk every day for about an hour and I do between about 500 and a thousand affirmations a day. Wow. And, and I do that while I'm walking. My walking time is my solid affirmation time. Now, is your affirmations all in different areas of your life or is it a specific, like, like, like you have one goal, but you have all these affirmations to kind of help you with this one vision or you got like multiple visions that you're flooding your mindset with? Do you, do you suggest doing all the affirmations all at once or only like, 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 like Monday you're doing money and then Tuesday you're focusing on your career and then Wednesday you're focusing on your health and love or you know what I mean? Or do you try to flood your whole mind with everything all at once? I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm, I'm not, uh, being a creative person, I'm kind of, there is no straight line from A to Z. It's very much on how I'm feeling. Like say something's affected me in terms of, uh, having to wake up early when you don't want to <laughs> well, that I can actually do something about so that really oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, co that's coffee right there yeah, coffee or, or tea or a chai or, or tea <laughs> no what I do is I go okay every day I practice a set of affirmations for my self love and that is I'm loved I'm wanted I'm supported I'm deserving I'm worthy I'm, I'm worthy. Secure, I'm first best. I'm a priority. I matter. And I am free. Yes, I am free. That's a good now, one. Being free for me was one of, I felt extremely trapped in my work life for many years. So feeling free was something that I didn't really know. So from doing that affirmation, I am free. I've now broken free and I travel and I work wherever I am. But those saying all those affirmations, I don't do them like that. I used to do those 10 or 12 in that order, the same order all the time on a loop. Now what I do is I go, okay, I'm going to do, I am free a hundred times. Then I'm going to do, I am loved a hundred times. And I'm going to, yes. so I do them in blocks of a hundred and I do those ones for my, for me. Then I'll do money ones. Money comes in faster than I can spend it. Uh, I do, I work half the hours for twice the pay. I do, um, this is the best financial day of my life. They're my three top money ones. And then I'll do some around, you know, certain things I want to manifest, like the next trip or, so I have specific ones for that. So I just do, because I'm walking for an hour, yeah. I've worked out I can do 500 affirmations in 30 minutes, so I do 1,000 in an hour. So if I do 500 for, m for me, my self-love, my self-worth, then the other 500, I scoot around on different subjects. That makes sense. And it's funny how, like, how the universe works where you can flood your mind with these affirmations and sometimes your mind wants to come up with how it's going to happen. Yeah. And like, this is how I want it to happen. But sometimes your, your how isn't the universe's how, you know, and that your affirmations alone and what you want is more important than how you're going to get it. Um, and that that's good that you flood your mind with like, you know, hundreds of the same affirmations sometimes and just kind of let that go right you got to learn to let it go and yep. let the, let let the universe take care of itself like and I, I wanted to reach more people just for my own product and yep. i was thinking how am i going to do that how am i going to how am i going to connect to all these people well you know the universe brought someone like you and in and brought us in to, to come see and it's like I didn't wake up this morning thinking, you know, I can't wait to meet Agnes, you know, yeah. it just, kind of just came in together on its own naturally. So yeah. that's where you're like, wow, you know, the universe is, is, is always working for you. You know, it's, it's always working for you. Okay. Now let me ask you, were you doing affirmations for that? To attract, yes, I have my own affirmations for my own app, for my own uh, reaching my target audience. My app is reaching out to people and it's, 
I feel like it's a it's a it's an entity that's alive and it's just it's doing its own thing. It's like it's an alive yeah. digital product that's so my my goal is to focus on what's important and not urgent. And what's important right now is to keep the app, you know, operational because the technology world is evolving so fast. Yes, and that yes. sometimes I can't keep up. And that when Apple decides or Android decides to upgrade their software, my app falls behind. And when it falls behind, I get issues. And when I get issues, I get people emailing me saying, this is not working. That's not working. And I'm here by myself. Like, I'm, get, I'm on it. I'm going to fix it for you. Yeah. So um, I have my own affirmations to keep me positive in the realm of keeping this product up to date, keeping it operational, making sure everyone's happy when they're using it and attracting the right target audience. And yeah, so nice. I, you know, again, our, our words are very powerful. So just, you know, for, for your viewers, you know, you just got to be careful of, of your own self-talk yeah. and that, yeah. you know, your self-talk can talk you out of something, you know, and, 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 got to constantly think about what is it that you truly want to have into your life? Like, what is it do you want to be? What do you want to have? And, and then begin to tell yourself, you know, a new form of affirmations. I mean, you have tons of videos. I got to still watch all of your videos because there's a lot of things on there that I want to learn that I can integrate into my life. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm grateful that you're you and I are working like we're two halves of a nut with what you and I are both doing. We're, we're yeah. very, you're very focused on affirmations. Affirmations is a big part of what I do with, with coaching because people yeah. be repeating negative things about relationships and money and health and their body weight and then expecting to get a different result. So, you know, we are very much working on complementary things. You and I yeah. are Absolutely. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be in your presence right now. <laughs> I'm like, I, this stuff of combining what we do with changing the mind with technology, that fascinates me no end. I, cause I'm yeah. the techie end. I'm the front man that talks about stuff. I'm no, I've got people in the back end doing stuff for me. Cause I got no idea. But <laughs> it's fascinating hearing how your minds work because my mind works very differently and I learn a lot from hearing how your mind ticks and works things out. It fascinates me. Now, let me ask you the next thing. Do you actually help other, I mean, are you a consultant helping people with app stuff? Cause I know, as you know, I put you in contact with one person that wants to have some. Yes. Apps. Yes. So, Ultimately, my dreams and desires is to be someone like you. I want to be a coach like you. I want to be on stage talking to people, saying the exact same stuff that we were talking about today. That's where, I, that's where my heart's desire is. I'm a performer. I want to be on stage. I want to talk. I want to help people. I want to get my hands on it. That, that's who I truly am. But I have this technology background. I have an electrical engineering degree. And to be honest with you, I don't... I don't want to move in that direction. I don't want, I don't, the, the word engineering for me just doesn't resonate with me. It, I've been in that industry. I felt like I was trapped. Um, so I managed to get out of engineering and become a website designer. Um, first for myself, again, I designed a website for myself. I designed an app for myself. And because I did this for me, companies reached out to me and said, Hey, could you do this for my company? So I became a website designer for a company. I became an app developer for a company. And then I became a project manager for the company. And I started managing the websites, managing the apps. So yeah. right now I am becoming this guy that can create websites for people and develop apps for people, as well as maintaining my personal apps on the app store. Yeah. And the, the websites that I designed, I, and I have some spiritual people on, on, on my account that have these spiritual websites, they have tarot card. And when I talk to my clients, they, they give me their readings and stuff. And they like, you know, Chris, you know, this is the month where you're gonna be having lots of blessings. And I'm like, well, this is great that I am attracting clients into my life that are in the spirit realm. And they're all about law of attraction. 
and that um, I have apps that I've developed for, uh, one is called the uh, Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, he developed a card reading app where you can basically thumb through a bunch of cards in the app and you tap on it and you'll be surprised with the message that you read from it. It's almost like a, kind of like a tarot card, kind of like those angel card readings. Okay. But it's app development. So I'm doing that right now uh, to kind of keep the income going because I'm really good at the digital side. But yeah. ultimately, yeah. I see myself in, in, in your shoes where I'm coaching people. And, and I was watching your YouTube video on like how to change jobs and how to attract your dream job. And, you know, and, and I got to have my own set of affirmations so I can now shift and, and, and start living and I'm already doing that. If you think about it, I am talking to my audience right now. You are. Listen. Look, everybody that watches my channel is well-versed in meditation, affirmations, visualizing, all this stuff. They come to the channel for that. Yeah. And the main subjects on my channel are relationships and manifesting a specific person. The second subject would be money. So those, money and career, because they're kind of linked. Yeah, they kind of link. Yeah, and doing something meaningful work because a lot of people aren't doing meaningful work and they're not where they want to be and they're not earning the money they want to earn. And I understand that because I spent 30 years doing that. Me too. I spent some years doing something that doesn't make you feel alive. Like we yeah. just all want to do meaningful work. We want to do work that makes us feel good as a human being. We want to feel like we matter, right? We want to feel like our lives matter, that we want to go to work every day feeling good. Yeah. Um, but again, I think we need to just change our mindset about our current situation. I mean, you can't, what do they say? Like you try to look at the mirror and you have to smile first to see your mirror reflection smile back at you that you have to smile first. And I think we have to like smile first in a sense of having a different feeling about our current work situation. We got to feel good about it. We got to trick our minds to feel good about it. And I think it'll start reflecting back to you. Yes. Um, and, and maybe, maybe with that, you might get laid off or maybe you might get fired and yep. you might think, Oh my God, I got fired. What happened? Well, guess what? It's a blessing in disguise. The universe is saying, uh, it's time for you to do something different. Correct. And, and, you know, so sometimes these bad things are really good things. <laughs> Yeah, you know? sometimes when you get fired, I remember being let go of a few times and I was so, I felt this internal relief, even though, the, yeah. like about a week later, then you start getting anxiety going, where the hell is my money going to come from? Yeah, but what am I going to do now? I've had several of those moments, like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> but I have, I have like this trick where I just close my eyes and I start, I count money in my hands. I just count 1000 yeah. 2000 I'm like, dang, this is what 5000 feels like in my hand. I'm holding it. Yes. I'm like, this is tiny. Yeah. This is, this is 5000 and look how small it is. And, yeah. and you just start visualizing it. And then sometimes I get the right clients coming through the door. They send me an email when I, when I, it's like, wow, I, I got an email. This guy wants a website or he wants an app done. Well, yeah. there's my money. Money's coming in. So are so, you, are you freelancing fully for yourself or do you work for someone I, else as well? I'm freelancing for myself, yes, at this moment. It's, uh, it's called CW Design Work. I'm just a website designer, app development consultant. Yep. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm freelancing. But I am looking for work. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But do I want to go back into the work field working no. for someone else? Not really. No. I'm, I don't blame you. I don't either. I don't think I'll ever work. I just thought... The biggest thing about doing freelance and what you, you work the hours you want, you give to people, it's meaningful. Every hour goes fast because everything's fun. Like, you know, like I just think it doesn't yeah. than that. That is, that is a, that's awesome. That is great. Yeah. And it took yeah. hundreds of thousands of affirmations to get here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, that's funny. But it yeah. worked. It worked. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought to myself, um, you know, if I had $20 million in my bank account, would I be building websites for people? And I'm like, I don't think I would. I, I don't think I, I would be building more products. I would be building more life-changing, innovative products and services 
to help empower people to make positive changes in their life. I mean, I think that's what I would really want to do. So um, have, you got, have you got have you got the one app? So I got I got two. One is I am that I am, and it's the same concept, but it's called Ninja Spirit. And Ninja Spirit is specifically for the Ninja Warrior community. Oh, um, it's, the, it's the exact it's the exact same thing, except it's it's red. It's yeah. it's 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 red, and it has a a fitness timer. And I'll and I'll show you a quick introduction yeah, yeah. to the to the Ninja Spirit. Exact same concept. You have a bow, and you got this. I got this nice intro video. And that's oh, me talking. No. Yeah, so this is this is Ninja Warrior. So what's, no, what's the aim to get people mentally ready for this? Yeah, to get people mentally ready to train for Ninja Warrior because it this is the type of obstacles that I have to do. I gotta jump, I gotta climb, I gotta swing. Wow. I gotta, and, and I and I and I built my own stuff in my house. Wow. They're, they're all designed by me. And it was all because it's all because of Ninja, you know, my I am that I am app. So it's it's an affirmation recorder tool for just Ninja Warrior. And I have other ideas. It just it's it's time consuming. I got to I have to develop it, code it. And it's it's funding. I mean, apps, apps are cheap. They're, okay. they, they cost cost money. Idea. If you're doing an app, what are you expecting to pay for that? Because I've got no idea. Oh man, apps can like apps can run from like anywhere from three thousand dollars all the way up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It just depends on the type of features that you're looking to achieve. Okay. So if your if your app needs to have like a Google Maps or it needs to have a username and password. Yeah. Then it, it ties into your website server, and there's just a lot of communication back and forth. Um, it just depends on the nature of the product. I mean, I can literally, if you tell me what is it you're trying to accomplish, I can tell you how it can be done. Okay. What it's going to require and that are you ready to commit to, to turn something from concept to creation into yeah. a, a working model. And then like, wow, I got an app on the app store. This is crazy. I know that yeah. makes like you feel so like creatively cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I tell people I'm an app developer, you know, they, you know, they, they're like, wow, you can create apps. I'm like, I can. Yeah. But I, I have the resources. Me alone, I can develop apps to a certain level. Yeah. But then I've turned around and I have a team that yeah. I've been using since 2012. And this is where you have to learn how to outsource. Yeah. You know, so you outsource and you manage it and then you code it and then you create something beautiful out of it. So if there's something that you can't do, outsource some of your work. Find someone else who can do it and yeah. discuss with them, talk with them. Which is and what we do for websites anyway. It's, you know, the graphic designer doesn't always set up the shopping cart. No, right, exactly. Yeah. You have like multiple te people building your product for yourself. Yeah. So that's, so that's it. I think... I think ultimately I just want to create life changing products and um, you know, even website accounts and just help again, help people and end suffering in their own mind. Cause there's a lot of suffering going on as it is already. And just, we just have to all find a way to just not suffer anymore. I agree. I agree. You know? So anyways, yeah, I'm what a wonderful, Oh, brilliant. Wonderful. I know too. I mean, I know you're in the USA, but what's your background? My what's background? Your background. I'm uh, I'm Filipino yeah. and I'm black. I'm half black. I'm I'm a Filipino Negro. They call that yeah. <laughs> black, black and Filipino. And I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. And again, this is this is the city of entertainment. So this city is alive twenty four seven. There's there's parties going on all the time. There's lights and entertainment. So if I want a little bit of entertainment, I just go down the street and then boom, I'm there full of entertainment. And then I got to separate myself and get out of that. And because sometimes in Vegas, there's some good energy and there's some really negative low energy. So you got to get yourself away from any of the negativity out there. But Vegas is really good. That's my, um, that's where I'm from. And again, I'm, black and Filipino. So I get to eat Filipino food and the American black food, which is chicken all the time. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, 
great. Yeah, it's good to, I mean, you know, there's so many of us that live in the country, but our heritage, our, our roots are from somewhere else. So whenever I interview someone, I, I like asking that question because there's people from all over the world, different, yeah. cultures, different, and I love that. That's what's so great about doing interviews. You get yeah, to you're, all this. You're meeting, with your, with your coaching, you're meeting a lot of people, a lot of people. I mean, every week there's, you know, people from Saudi Arabia to Iceland to um, the Balkans to yeah. UK, US, of course, Australia, Canada, and then some places I think I have to actually look up on the map where the heck it is. I just Yeah, go, I'm wow. sure you do. And that's so fascinating to me that YouTube has gone everywhere. Uh, I know, right? And even when, even in my app, I'm seeing people are downloading my app from the other side of the country, yeah. the other side of the world, and they're sending me an email, and I'm like, and I'm looking at my analytics, I'm like, wow, it's reaching, <laughs> it's reaching people, and, 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 and people are using it, and, and I, got, I, can, I can see when people are using it, because I, I, I go to this analytics, and I can see, wow, these people are using it in Japan, this guy's using it in Canada, and they're using the play page and this person just finished recording an affirmation. Yeah. So it's like you and I are both are reaching people around the world, which is yeah. good that we're doing this type of work. It is. Um, and it is so rewarding knowing that something that you create is actually someone's using it to help themselves. I just yeah, that's, love that. I love that. I mean, you know, well, you and I are messengers, but people in the end have to do their own work once we've right. on a certain amount of information. You know what? I've learned that we have to support life and life will support you. So if we continue to support life where we're helping people on this planet, life will support you because you're supporting life. So it's like this nice cycle and we're offering value to people. You know, we're, and, and I think that was, that's the thing is that I'm here on this planet to help and serve people. I want to serve life. Yeah, so in a sense, the, the world will continue to support me. For sure. Um, For sure. Yeah. So how long are your sessions? How long are your sessions yeah, when you do, do it? I do 30 minute sessions and one hour sessions. And then I do email coaching where I literally read an email and I voice record the reply. So that depends. That usually takes 15, 20 minutes for an email. And Do you normally have people fill out like a questionnaire or anything like that prior to discussing with you? Like, what is it that we're going to talk about? Or you just kind of go with it? Like, just call me. We'll talk like a therapist almost. No? I'm very, I'm very, um, I work very much on, See, when you plan, there's, you remove the inspiration and the spontaneity. I find if I sit down, I hear what's being said, then bang, I can help people straight away. Whereas if I'm reading, I get 50 emails a day, Chris. I cannot retain what wow. people, I cannot retain anymore what people are emailing me for sessions. I just cannot. Yeah. You know, approaching three to four people a day. I don't take any more than that because then I'm not giving the best to them. If I take on more, I could take on five a day because the work is there, but I limit it to three to four so that I'm fully present and then I can do my meditation in the morning, in the midday and in the night. And I've got to maintain my own balance to be able to give at that level. So I have to practice what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You gotta, you gotta be it, and you gotta stay yeah. in the lane. You don't yeah. want to get complacent and fall off the wagon a little bit. Yeah, you gotta practice what you preach, right? Certainly do. And and in this industry, it's very much about attraction. You've got to. Yeah. Be, I think. And then, do you? Sorry to interrupt. Do you lay out a specific plan for people after hearing their issues and concerns? Do you lay? Do you have a specific plan that yes. involves affirmation change? That involves using the app? That involves so that that is that is good. And then you just what keep it keep track of their progress for a couple of weeks. I don't keep track of their progress, but what I do is I set up like a a go to plan. So they tell me what's going on. Then I go, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on solutions. That's going to involve self-love meditations, daily affirmations, 
And if you really want to crack it, you need to be doing at least 500 a day. The people that get results do between 500 and 2000 a day. So, you know, because I do a lot of success stories. So you find out when you interview people what they've been doing and then they share their story live. So the viewers get to see the results of people having applied this stuff and the results that they've got. Nothing speaks louder than a result. Yes, I know your results. From someone else, not from me saying, I interview them, you hear it from them. Now, with the affirmations that you have them do, do you have them sit quietly with the affirmations or do you have the affirmations even throughout their entire day? I mean, that may not be effective because they're active in the day as well as doing affirmations or do you suggest that they sit down whether it's a 200 to a thousand affirmations, do you expect them to sit down with the affirmation, saying it out loud, recording it, playing it or whatever, or just throughout their entire day? Well, I think, I, I think it's very important to do one thing at a time and not split your concentration. In saying that affirmations combined with exercise, whether you're on a treadmill or you're walking in the park, that kind of combining affirmations with a little bit of activity that's repetitive, I think works extremely well. I think so too. Yeah. I think so as well. Gets them in the right mindset. It does. And also you've got the energy and the, the, the blood, everything circulating from the exercise, which gives you a better feeling, then you're rejecting that better feeling with your with your affirmations i think doing them at night laying in bed totally quiet and still is effective as well so i agree i think doing you know different times of the day different methods um both of those work well for me i guinea pig myself for everything so that when i talk i can say well look i've done this and that this hasn't worked so well but this worked extremely well you try a few of these and you see what works for you because not everybody's the same. Yeah, not everybody's the same. When I'm exercising, I have my exercising affirmations. When I'm uh, dealing with work, I have my work affirmations. Yeah. You know, prior to my son coming home, I have family affirmations. Yeah. And it's like I structure mine in a way that works for me. So, again, everyone's different. Um, yeah. And you know what? I'm just um, I'm grateful for this experience. I hope, again, we can, we can meet again yes, online digitally. Yes. I would love that because I just think, Chris, this is so important, you know, and I hear people on YouTube saying not into affirmations, they don't work. And I just think I'm not even stepping near that because, you know, Louise Hay in the 1970s was a big advocate for affirmations. So was Florence Scoville Shin. So was Neville talked about that you repeat something morning, noon and night to start to change your state. He talked about it as states. We talk about it as a feeling place, whatever words you want to use. Yeah. So when I hear that, I think, wow, you're affirming negative stuff all day, whether you believe in affirmations or not anyway. So yeah. I just kind of go, okay, well, that's, they, you know, they're doing it that way. They don't believe in affirmations. That's fine. But I just can see such benefits from doing them systematically and with, with feeling and with faith and belief. And it is, it's like the marrow in your bones to me. Yeah, it is. It really is. Meditations, affirmations, meditations, affirmations, calm yourself down, input something good calm yourself down, input something good. Meditation to calm you down, slow that everything down, yeah. then start putting in good information into your head. Those two things, you know, and I also think doing the whole Pono Pono prayer and living in the end, visualizing end scenes to support the affirmations, those things work extremely well too. So I'm going to have to learn about the Pono Pono prayer and all that stuff. Cause you're saying some terms that I have never heard of before. So oh, okay. yeah, well, I'm looking forward to learning more. I mean, yeah, I was talking with, um, with, uh, uh, she just, the, the, the one, the lady that just connected us. Um, I don't know. I, I, huh? Annie? Yes, Annie. I'm so, Annie H. Hoffman. That's right. Yeah. And she had these other love, attraction information that I've never heard of and people have never heard of before. And I was researching and then she told me about you and it's like, I'm ha now I have like a new list of information <laughs> about this stuff. That's going to help improve the quality of my life. 
I mean, and I'm not, I'm not perfect. Uh, my life is ups and I have downs. So even though I created a product, doesn't mean I'm this guru. I, I still have my own personal issues I got to overcome. And, you know, and, I, and I'm still learning every day. So, I'm, I'm, again, I'm grateful to hear some inf new information from you and from Annie and, and everyone else that I'm attracting in this journey. It's like it's all meant for me to transform into something great. Exactly, exactly. Well, Chris, um, can you send me whatever links you want me to put down below? Because I'm going to put your website, I'll put the app. But if there's any other links you want me to include, Absolutely. Viewers to find you any information you want them to look at because I think this is massively important. And I'm okay. so grateful that Annie connected us. She's going to laugh. Me too. This interview. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. And when you create this YouTube video, please send me the link. I would love to look at it and share yeah, it with my well, friends. I'm going to upload it tonight. It's only 9 p.m. here, so I'll upload it tonight and just shoot you an email and say it's up now. Okay. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie Hoffman, for connecting. Thank you, Annie. Thank you for connecting us. I really appreciate you. You're awesome. And, <laughs> how do you pronounce your name? Agnes? 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 Agnes. Agnes. Yes. Agnes. It's Agnes in English, but I was born in France, so it's Agnes. Yeah. Agnes. I like the yes, the yes part. Yes. Agnes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate the interview. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Beautiful. Stay on the line, Chris. We'll say goodbye to the viewers. Bye, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Bye, everybody. Thank you. In the next YouTube.